Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bruno from the BTN HD. And today, guys, I'm going to show you how to create virtual hosts as well as how to host your website within an Ubuntu server, not a desktop, a server. So a lot of this is going to be command based. And I have all my notes right here. I'm going to show you guys all my notes. Now, these notes are going to be placed at my site. And uh, I'm getting old, so I can't remember anything. So I definitely have to be looking at my notes, okay? <laughs> so the first thing that we need to do on our server, and remember, this is not a desktop. This is a server. You're going to be doing everything on a command, okay? Uh, is we need to install Apache. So what we need to do is uh, sudo. We need to do is sudo uh, app get updates. Let's do that first. And let's put our command. Let's put our password. Good. Now I'm doing everything within Ubuntu 16.04 and uh, hopefully that will help out for you guys. So once we do that, the next thing that we need to do is sudo app get install Apache to hit enter. Whoa, did I spell it right? Oh, spell install wrong. Got to spell that right. So make sure you do that right. Install and enter. Awesome. Uh, yes. Beautiful. So now Apache is installed. Uh, we did an update within our server. So next thing that we need to do is create a directory so we can place all our files into. So I'm going to do a clear to clear that stuff out. And I'm going to do a sudo mkdir space parameter of p. I'm going to place everything inside the var folder within a folder called ww. And I'm going to call this btnhd dot com forward slash and let's create another folder this is the folder where we are going to place all our index php files html files right and we're going to hit enter awesome so the next thing that we need to do is grant permissions so we need to do is sudo crown parameter of capital r dollar sign user dollar sign user space and we need to point it to that path that we just created. Okay, public underscore HTML and hit enter. Awesome. Next thing that we need to do is set permissions uh, at the main root, the WW uh, folder. So we need to do a sudo chmod with a parameter capital R 755 and it can be var, uh, var and www, okay, and enter. Awesome. We're going to clear this out. And now we need to, I'm going to go inside that folder. So let's go inside that folder. Let's go and CD. Here you go. CD again. Awesome. Let's clear that out. LS. We're going to do, there you go. And we're going to do WW. I want to show you guys that goes that folder that we created. And we are going to go CD, BT, and H. Go hit enter. There goes that folder, and we're gonna do is public enter, and we can clear that out. Alas, cool. There's nothing inside this folder. So what we're gonna do is create a dummy page, a dummy HTML page within this folder. Okay. So I'm gonna do is nano. I like to use the nano editor and var www.btnhd.com public underscore html remember you could call these you could call these folders whatever you want this is what i'm using for this video uh and i'm going to do let's do index and html right html index hit enter awesome so this is when you start coding so i'm going to do html parameter and we're going to do a head and within the head we're going to do a title uh, this is, uh, my page and make sure I'm gonna double check everything. Uh, everything looks good. Hopefully everything looks good. And we're going to do is a control X hit enter to save hit enter oh, Y then hit enter. Yes. Awesome. So once we have our dummy HTML file, we need to do is create a virtual host file. Now, uh, oh, Apache already gives you one, which is actually called 000-default, and that's actually located inside the etc file, which I'm going to show you guys right now. Let's go cd. Oops, sorry. All right, let's there you go. There you go. All right, so cd, 
CD. There you go. I'm going to clear this out. And we need to get into CD ETC. Okay. And there's a folder called Apache. Apache. There goes Apache. Here it goes. And within Apache, there's another folder called Sites. Uh, sites available and within there as you guys can see 00-default.conf they already provide a virtual host file for you so what we need to do is create another one but I'm gonna copy the information within the 00-default.conf into this new virtual host so to do that uh, we're gonna do a CP and we are going to do or actually we're gonna do a sudo because we need to do it as a root CP and ETC uh, Apache to sites and available okay and zero 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 dash default make sure I'm spelling that right default dot cough and I am going to make cough space and I'm going to drop it inside the same location and it's going to be the Apache 2 sites available uh, available and I'm going to call it btnhd.com.cough hit enter awesome so we're going to clear this out and we're going to do ls so as you guys can see, btnhd.com.cough was created. Now let's open this guy up. So we're gonna do a sudo nano, and we need to get into this folder. So it would be for slash etc apache two for slash site uh, available. There you go. And we need to get into btnhd, and we're gonna hit enter. Awesome, cool. So you're gonna see all this gibberish. So what I like to do is delete everything inside in here that are comments just to clear it out so let's clear out all the comments okay so once you clear out the comments you're gonna see this this is clean this is very simple uh, a couple of things that we need to change is the server admin and we also need to add stuff inside this um, virtual host file so I'm gonna delete the server admin and this is gonna be info at uh, btnhd.com uh, the documents actually and from here you're gonna hit enter hit a tab and I want to do is a server name server name is gonna be btnhd.com and we're gonna hit enter again we're gonna do a server alias and my server alias would be www.btnhd.com the document uh, root would be the location of where your HTML files are located so for us would be var www btnhd.com public and HTML awesome and that's it that's all you need to do uh, control X we're going to do a Y and hit enter to save it awesome okay now the next thing that we need to do is enable our virtual host file to do that let's clear this out make some room so you guys can see we're going to do a sudo and we're going to use the a2 en site btnhd.com dot cuff okay we gotta we have to enable this virtual host that we created okay and hit enter okay it's enabled awesome now we need to disable the default one because Apache gives us zero 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 dash default cough that's the default we need to disable that so what we need to do is sudo uh, a2d site zero 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 default dot cough hit enter awesome and it's disabled and next thing that we need to do is restart our apache server so we are going to do sudo uh, service apache to restart and that that doesn't mean restart your entire machine just restart the services great awesome now uh, this is up to you this is optional we need to set up a uh, host a local host file uh, to point to our site our IP address to point to our site 
and I think my IP address is 201. So let me do an IP config. And it is 201. Awesome. So let me clear this out. And we are going to do a sudo nano. And we need to get into our host file. Hit enter. And I am going to go all the way over here. Hit enter. And I'm going to do 192, uh, 168, 47, 201. And it's going to point to btnhd.com. Okay. And I'm going to do a control X, Y, and enter. And now we're going to test out. Now, I want you guys to take in consideration. You need to do a couple of things. You need to purchase your domain. And once you purchase your domain, the IP address has to be uh, a, a, an outside IP address. Most likely, you're getting this IP address through your ISP provider, uh, which allows you to access it anytime, or you're configuring your router at home to do port forwarding. Okay, so that means your machine has to be up and running 24 seven. So let's test this out because I'm doing everything as a virtual machine. So I am going to do is open up my Chrome and I'm going to do 192, uh, 192, 47. I think it's 201 and hit enter. There it goes. Hello, everyone. This is BTN HD and the title is this is my page. How awesome is that? Now, if I purchase my domain. Uh, btnhd.com I could go into let's say GoDaddy and create a, a and create a, a record to point to btnhd and point to my server IP address and that will work with no problem hopefully you guys enjoyed this video leave comments right below and I catch you guys on the next one peace out